In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a simple tile set like this and create an animated tile map like this in Godot 4. I'm filming this tutorial using the most recent beta of Godot 4, which is currently beta 4. I don't expect anything major to change with this process between now and the full release of Godot 4, but if it does, I'll be sure to leave a pinned comment down below. To start, let's take a look at the artwork we want to use for our tile set. Because of the way we're going to set up animations using Godot 4's new tile set tool, we want this artwork to be set up as a sprite sheet, which is effectively what I've done here. On the left hand side, you can see I have four 16 by 16 tiles, and these will be the four tiles that make up our tile set. In the third row here, you can see I have tiles spread out across all four columns. Each of these tiles in row three will serve as an individual frame for our third tile here, which will be the animated tile in our tile set. Jumping over to Godot, I have an empty scene in a new project that I've just created. In the file system, all I have is the scene we're looking at, as well as the sprite sheet that I've just exported as a PNG. To get started here, we need a tile map for our scene. So I'll head up to the scene tree and add a tile map as a child of the root node. Over here in the inspector for this tile map, we can see where we will be creating our tile set. But first, if your tiles are not 16 by 16 as mine are, you'll want to change the cell quadrant size here. Mine are 16 by 16, so I can leave this as it is. To create our new tile set, we will click the empty tile set here and then create new tile set. Down here at the bottom of our window, we now have a tab called tile set, and this is where we'll be creating our animated tiles. To get started, we'll drag our sprite sheet in as the source for our new tile set. Right off the bat, it'll ask us if we'd like to automatically create tiles in the atlas based off this image. And for non-animated tiles, yes is a great option here, but for now we want to click no. Reason for this is that we don't want each of our individual frames of our animated tile to be different tiles. We all want this to be part of the same tile here in the third row, and that's what we will define here in Tile Properties. To begin designating tiles for our tile set, we can click on the Atlas Setup tool up here in the top left corner and individually click on the tiles that we want to become a part of our set. This is gonna be our four base tiles here in the first column. Once we've done that, we can open up the Selection tool and select the third tile, which is going to be our animated tile. You can see in the tile properties that we have a dropdown for animation and frames, and this is what we're gonna to wanna to open up to define the frames of this tile. This is where things got a bit confusing before I figured out what was going on here. When you click this Add Element button under the Frames dropdown, it's going to take the information here in the Animation dropdown and create a new frame. So really what we want to specify here is that we have four columns involved in this particular animation. So we'll put four here in the Columns section, and each frame is separated by basically nothing since they're nudged right up against each other, so we can leave X set to zero here. Now when I click Add Element, you'll see that a new frame is added to this particular tile. And I can click that two more times to get the full animation cycle for this particular tile. At this point, our tile set is all ready for the tile map. It looks like we have seven tiles defined here, but if you use the selection tool and click around, you'll notice that you can only select the initial four tiles we defined. All these other tiles here are frames associated with the third tile, just as we want. Back on the tile map tab here at the bottom, we can see that our tile set is ready to go for painting. So I can start selecting some tiles and painting them into the tile map in the editor. So we'll add some sand here for the beach, our transitional layer to the water, and then a row of our animated tiles here. We can see that even right when we paint these into the tile map, we can start to see the animation, which is super cool. We'll finish out with a little bit of water here and our tile map is pretty much done. When we run the game, this is what we're left with. A bit confusing to figure out how to set these up, but overall very simple to do and a very cool effect to add to your tile maps. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please let me know with a thumbs up and a comment down below, especially if you want to see more Godot 4 tutorials. I'd love to hear what features you'd like to see covered. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.